Let's connect the Netgear EAX15 via WPS. Uh, first of all, plug your extender into a power outlet next to your router and make sure that your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi and wait for the power indicator on the extender to start glow solid green. Now it's amber, let's wait for green. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds and once you got the green light here, uh, press the WPS button on the left side of the extender. Here it is. And then within two minutes, press the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the front or on the back panel, but if for some reason you don't have the WPS button on your router physically, uh, probably you have it virtual. You need to access the configuration panel using the IP address provided in the user manual of your router and then access uh, the router settings and press the virtual uh, WPS button. And now let's see what's going on here. So uh, the top indicator is for power, we already know it. Uh, the next one is for connection with the router and the bottom indicator is uh, indicates the secured connection. So when you have these three indicators glowing uh, solid green, it means the connection is established. And now uh, you can take any of your Wi-Fi gadgets and check for networks. Uh, so I don't see new networks here. This is my normal network. My Wi-Fi is the name of, of my network's router. And the matter is that uh, when you connect this extender via WPS, it automatically copies the router's network and password so that your gadgets will uh, connect to the internet for the fastest possible uh, speed. And, and now you need just relocate your extender between your router and Wi-Fi a dead zone, uh, but make sure that the uh, extender is still in the router's range. Uh, you can check it using the second signal from the top. If it's green, the connection is the best. If it's amber, the connection is good enough. And if it's red, the connection is pure. And if it's off, there is no connection at all. So uh, now let's try to connect to our new network. To do this, I think we need to go to another room because, uh, because my phone looks for the best signal and router gives the better signal than, uh, than an extender, it's obvious. So uh, I try to go to the next door room and see what's happened. And now I'm in the room next door and the signal from the router is not so good here. So let me try to connect to my Wi-Fi network once again. So connecting. Yeah, it, it's successful. Connection is established. Uh, so guys, connection via WPS is super easy. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.